Jenny Hanley was one of the most beloved actresses of England who's best remembered for her role as one of the presenters of the ITV series Magpie. However, her life is far more interesting and unique than the appearance she made in movies and on TV. So, let's look at 10 little-known facts about Jenny Hanley. But before we get into the video, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment below saying, I subscribed and we're going to do our best to personally reply to your comment. So number 10, she was born into a family of actors. So Jenny was born August 15th, 1947 in Buckinghamshire, England. She had a wonderful family life and was in fact born into a family of actors. Her parents were Dinah Sheridan and Jimmy Hanley. Her mother, Dinah, had an acting career spanning seven decades and appeared in famous movies like The Railway Children and Don't Wait Up. Her father, Jimmy, a famous English actor who also appeared in the popular Huggets films series. Number nine, educated in both England and Switzerland. Now, although her parents were successful actors, sometimes finding work was difficult as it is for anyone working in the entertainment industry. However, her parents did everything they could to make sure that their daughter gets the best education possible. At first, Jenny started her education in English schools. She was a good student and, of course, took an immediate interest in drama and theater. However, after a few years, her family decided to move to Switzerland to seek more work opportunities. Now, this was a good experience for Jenny because she was able to learn about a new culture and really immerse herself in a new life. Number eight, first jobs were modeling and nanny work. Even though she had early aspirations about becoming an actress, it was not the first job she was able to do. In fact, her first job was being a nanny. She loved working with children, but more importantly, this job allowed her more free time to go to auditions and pursue an acting career. However, auditions were difficult to come by, so she was offered several modeling jobs instead. She was excited about the modeling jobs because most of those were very creative and allowed her to learn how to move her body and how to express her facial expressions better. This would become very important later on in her career. Number seven, her grandmother was a photographer for the royal family. Another interesting member of Jenny's family was her grandmother. She was a professional photographer who was much loved in England. In fact, she was so good that she was soon hired by the royal family. Some of the famous members of the family who were photographed by her grandmother include Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, and Prince Edward. Her grandmother was famous for being able to capture people in their most natural poses that would accentuate their features and make them look more approachable to the general public. Her grandmother also photographed the famous Roger Moore in another relaxed, calm setting. Number six, her brother was an MP. Jenny's brother was another family member with big dreams and a successful career. He started his working life as an accountant, but later decided to try his hand at politics. He was so successful that he later became a Conservative Party MP. He was very much admired by his colleagues, worked hard to bring stability and honor to his party. Number five, difficult acting beginnings. So when Jenny first started to receive serious auditions, she had to work very hard in order to get a good acting role. Many other actresses were competing for the same roles, and Jenny needed something that would set her apart from the rest of the competition. Luckily, this is where her previous modeling experience came in handy. Number four, finally standing up from the rest. So it took some time, but Jenny was finally able to develop an acting style that was unique for her. Most importantly, she used the unique features that she was born with and decided not to pretend that she was someone else. This included keeping her regular voice and not trying to sound too cute, minimizing the use of makeup, and taking care of her body with its own unique features. This made her different from everyone else who was trying to stay on top of fashion and beauty trends, but instead mostly ended up looking all the same. Number three, first appearance on Joanna. Now, it may not seem like a big deal that her first appearance was in the movie Joanna because she played the very small role of married woman. However, even with such a small role, she was able to impress everyone who worked with her as well as everyone who saw the movie. Jenny had a unique charisma about her, which transferred onto the big screen. Plus, she was well known for being a wonderful person to work with. She was professional, punctual, always very respectful towards everyone around her. This soon helped her to receive bigger roles in movies like Honor Majesty's Secret Service, Scars of Dracula, and The Ballad of Tam Lin. 
The biggest influence on her career was the James Bond film On Her Majesty's Secret Service, where she had a genuine role. Since the Bond franchise has always been huge, this was the beginning of many more movie offers to come. Number 2. A Career in Radio Few people know that Jenny also had a very successful career in the radio industry. She had a beautiful voice and was very witty, full of humor. Now, this allowed her to receive several opportunities as a radio presenter. She loved to work on radio shows that focused on multiculturalism in England and often mentioned her life in Switzerland as an influence of her cultural understandings. She wanted to make sure that all cultures were heard in England and that their voices would be heard on the radio shows that she worked on. She finally received a permanent spot on BBC Radio Berkshire and Radio Saga, where she still interviews guests and plays music from all over the world. Her previous guests have often mentioned in interviews that they feel extremely comfortable when they're interviewed by Jenny, and that she focuses on the real questions and doesn't try to start drama just to receive greater popularity, as many other interviewers do. And number one, a secret private life. Now, although Jenny has had a wonderfully successful career, her private life has always been a bit of a mystery. She never liked to talk about the men in her life and preferred to settle down and live away from the spotlight. So this is why it's come as no surprise that Jenny chose a career in radio to continue her career. In 1980, Jenny married fellow presenter Herbie Clark, with whom she had two children. However, the marriage fell apart after 17 years and they divorced in 1997. Jenny has never openly spoken about her marriage or what went wrong with it along the way. She's also kept the lives of her sons very secret, which means that we have no information about their careers or future ambitions. So this is understandable, as many actors have regretted sharing too much of their private lives with the general public. It would usually end in scandals and depression, which is something Jenny didn't want to expose her family to. She remains one of England's most loved actresses, and many of her fans are glued to her radio shows, and support her with a passion. So, are you a fan of Jenny Hanley? What do you think about her appearance in the James Bond franchise? And which movies cut your interest the most? Let us know in the comments below. Check out the next video in this series.